All right, folks, I know what you're thinking right now as you're watching this, and this is, this hopefully has some secret magic thing to help me wear out this crazy monster. That monster being your bird dog or sporting dog, or even just another breed of dog that has a lot of energy. Retrieving, okay? Retrieving is how we can help the dogs to be able to burn off that energy. And when you have a dog that is tired, a tired dog is more obedient, happier, and that makes us happier. Now, there are three main things here that are gonna be important. First and foremost, um, dogs, canine family, are predators. Predators like to chase things, so retrieving becomes a, a fun game of chase. The next thing is that it is exercise, and that's how we burn off that extra energy. Um, exercise of running back and forth, chasing down, getting it, bringing it back to you, that is not only fun, it's rewarding, it's essentially passive obedience work because the dog is going out and coming back and everybody is enjoying it. And then the third thing with retrieving specifically is it's easy to do. It doesn't require a lot of equipment. You can have bumpers or balls or toys that their dog likes to run out and get. And it doesn't take a ton of space. We're gonna be doing this in the front yard here and you may have access to a yard or a small park or a dog park that you can play fetch with to help wear your dog out. All right, so I know what you might be thinking right now, and that is, Ethan, my dog doesn't like to retrieve. Well, see exhibit Clay. In the beginning, he wasn't the world's best retriever. We had to really build his desire to want to pick things up and carry it around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, spunk butt. Okay. You're sitting over here looking at me. Come here. Throw, throw it all. Ha! It worked. What do we got? What do we got? Nothing. That grew to the point of uh, all he would do is pick things up and run away with them. We've been trying to do is play fetch with him, and uh, Mr. Clay loves to run bumpers down and then pick them up and take off with them. So, folks, on that uh, note. I'm the guy with the pink gun. See you later, Clay. See you later, Clay. So we had to take a step back from retrieving and move into some obedience work, building a consistent recall. We did that via collar conditioning and we showed that in his last video. Clay, here? Good boy, good boy. Now, folks, that's it. He's collar conditioned to recall, we're done. Now that we have the two most important parts of retrieving, which is the desire to pick things up and carry it around, and a consistent recall built off of collar conditioning, we're gonna put those together and show you what it looks like in Clay's session today. Let me grab Clay. All right, folks, before we get started, I wanna make sure and mention that if your sessions don't go exactly like we do here, reach out to us, patreon.com slash standingstonekennels. That's where we're set up to help you with providing our most valuable tool, all right? That tool is the brain. We have the ability to read dog training situations via videos, and we can help you. Also, anything you see in our videos, available at standingstonesupply.com. I've got clay here, I've got a bumper, and we're using the new, it's a brand new, DD700 e-collar by DT Systems. And what we're gonna do here is rotate this around and get set for him on a low level stimulation, we're gonna be primarily utilizing vibrate today. It's gonna to be the bottom button here. Now, come on, come here, yeah, 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 yeah. So we're gonna start this session with a short little toss here. Get him pumped up, all right. And we can hit that vibrate button on the way back. This is gonna encourage that recall to us. Good job. Now, a couple important things here. You want to encourage this natural hold. This is what we've been building all the way along. Good. Good. Now, we'll get another one ready. Are you ready? Okay. Get a little longer toss. He's been pretty good at tracking. He's excited about grabbing the bumper. Atta boy! And what we were having issues with is him coming back to us. 
Good. Hey, hey, hey. Now, for those of you that are asking, we're using Vibrate um, on the way back there. Bumped it right when he picked it up. That was encouragement to say, hey, come on back. And then as he was coming back, I went ahead, knowing his personality, went ahead and let off the collar a little bit. And if he was going to veer off, we would turn the collar back on. Sometimes we have to remind dogs on a regular basis, hey, focus, focus, focus. He's a little more focused than some, so less reminders, and you'll have to make that adjustment depending on how your dog does with the recall. Hey, hey, okay. Have fun with it. Low, bouncing, rolling. Make sure your dog's paying attention. One of the things that you may run into if you don't get their attention, a boy, good dog. Oh boy. Good job. Good job. One of the things that can happen if you don't get your dog's attention is you can pitch a bumper and they don't see it. And you throw it out there and then you say, ah, oh, he didn't see where it went. So then we've got to walk out here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I found it. I found it. I found it. Come on. Good. So, have your dog's attention, and these are what we would call fun bumpers. Ready? Okay. All right, rake it out. Let's go. Good. Ready? Okay. Throw it out there. That one's going to be a little more challenging. It bounced into the tall grass. He says, easy. Vibrate. Good boy. Good boy. Nice job. All right, folks. This is huge, 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 huge progress. This is something that we'll be able to do, but now that he loves to do it, we can't overdo it. What we have to do is find a really good balance of working on recall in obedience sessions and then incorporating some fetch, a few times a week, and if you do short sessions, keeping your dog pumped up, you're gonna to continue to grow this into something that can really help not only wear your dog out, but it's gonna build, if you do have a bird dog, it's gonna build a solid retriever for the field. Thanks guys for watching. This is Clay, I'm the guy with the pink gun. We'll see you in his next video.